Hello humans, this is Random Visage and welcome to the Random Channel. Today we are going to be talking about Mono from Little Nightmares 2. I assume you have seen plenty of explanation videos, so I'm not gonna go explaining too much in depth. I just wish to talk about Mono and the loop and the whole situation with 6. Now don't get me started on loops, I hate time paradoxes on this manner. I mean, in this particular manner, where there is no initial point, that is why I hate it in Stellar. The only time I excuse the use of this trope is when the story is good. Like here in Little Nightmares and in uh, Looper, it's a movie, it's pretty good. Uh, regardless, so Mono is stuck in a time loop where he will save Six, then Thin Man will kidnap Six and Mono would come to save her, killing Thin Man in the process, then getting betrayed by Six and getting stuck in the tower where he'll be warped by the tower to drain the masses of their life, so life force. He will then be consumed by anger and hatred, his memories will be distorted, he will then try to get his younger self to set him free, but will not be able to control himself for trying to kill Six, henceforth repeating the loop. Now here is the thing, we are going to discuss two questions, how to break the loop and why did Six betray Mono. Now let's start with the betrayal. I have heard three theories regarding this. The first being that she simply used him and uh, discarded him when uh, the use was over and he was no longer useful in any sense. But it is possible, but not exactly the first thing that comes to mind because she doesn't know the manner of help she may need in the future. Especially when Mono has a power so he can certainly help. She could possibly be scared of Mono's power and the fact that he may turn on her as she goes on on a killing spree in the spree in the first game, which is definitely a possibility. So it's a, got a pretty good chance, but uh, I don't think it's the most likely one. The second, because he didn't uh, because he didn't help her when the Thin Man initially appeared. Also, he broke her music box, the box that she very much liked and have an att attachment towards. I think this one makes the most sense because I can see her having some resentment because of that. Third and last, the most unlikely one is this one. The idea is that she realizes her hunger for power and blood is rising, which we see in the first game. So she decides that it would be a good idea to leave him in the tower because that would be saving him and she will kill him obviously if she stays with him. So that's the one that they went with. Uh, this one falls short because of two reasons that I've noticed. Number one is that her body movement suggests no such thing as any manner of regret or hesitation in her movement. Like you would at least be, uh, you know, be, be a little weirded out even if you're trying to save someone. Obviously, she didn't tell him, but uh, there's no body movement that would suggest any manner of regret or hesitation, which is just weird. And you can tell that that's not that's the reason why. She is not going down this route. Uh, now number two is that she doesn't know that letting him go will be safe. He could just fall to his death. He was just lucky that he fell on the biomass. Well, lucky or unlucky, you decide that. Now let's discuss how to break the loop. Now here's the thing. Mono will, st uh, Mono will always help Six just because of his good nature. But because he needs a Six to progress through some areas. So moving forward, uh, Six becomes a requirement. Because you may think that that's not the case. But if you... If you are essentially going through the game, you will see that there are always places where you need two people. So it would be very absurd and how he would go through the, that area. You could say the game would be different uh, because he is singular. But, uh, you know, it's a, it's a reality for them and the reality is not bending for them. So I think two people are a requirement. So not to mention Mono has a fear of being alone because of which uh, he will always go and help Six. Now as the loop goes, Mono has not many ways to break it. There are only four ways for the loop to be broken that I can think of. First is if the trigger of the loop, that is six, decides to save Mono on, instead of letting him go. This would be a very random event because she has no reason to do so. But as the loop goes, uh, not every little thing is going to be the same and it is a possibility that one of the sixes may change her mind at some point. Second would be for the Thin Man or the Adult Mono to somehow gain access to the power of the tower because the tower uses him as a medium to drain life force out of all the TV viewers. Uh, if, he, if he can access that power even for a little bit, he will be strong enough to kill Six, defeat his child self and escape the tower. Third way would be for him to see the pattern because at the end of every loop, uh, Thin Man dies and the next Mono takes his place. If he repeats the same thing as he saw the Thin Man do, then he should probably see his folly, in which case he could change the situation up a bit here and there and should avoid his fate. But that's the most likely one he could possibly do. Other ones are too random, uh, but this one he could possibly see how things went about the same. Uh, but then again, his mind is warped, so we don't know. 
Fourth and the last way would be the external influence, some big random event out of, outside of the tower or the maw that causes the tower to lose its effectiveness like an earthquake, earthquake or tsunami or like a war or something. I don't know what the political situation of the world is, but whatever. Uh, that one of the external factors could also function here. But more than likely, Mono will be stuck for a long time, if not forever, through multiple timelines, ending up with the same shitty fate, following the same plotline over and over again. A cycle of betrayal, hatred, and dying a virgin. Thank you so much for watching. The link in the description to my Twitter. There's also a link to my Patreon. Go check my stuff out over there. Bye-bye. Uh,